The primary election in Washington is coming up on Tuesday. There are some big races at both the state and federal level. And including one that's definitely attracting a lot of national attention. The ads are hard to miss, but as you are filling out your ballot, keep in mind that Washington is a top two primary state. So what is a top two primary? Well, the name goes a long way to describe it. Basically, all candidates from every party for an office appear in a single group on the ballot. The two candidates, regardless of party, who collect the highest number of votes, then advance to the general election. That's on Tuesday, November 8th. So it's possible that there won't be a Democrat and a Republican in each race moving forward. Not only that, but for the primary, voters don't declare a party affiliation to vote. Washington was the first to adopt a top two primary back in 2008. So why do it this way? There are several reasons, including simplifying the general election ballot, preventing spoiler candidates, and increasing the power of voters by not just slotting in a Democrat or Republican. One of the big races we'll be following is in Southwest Washington's 3rd Congressional District. No doubt you've seen the ads for this one. Incumbent Republican Jamie Herrera Butler faces a tough re-election since she voted to impeach former President Donald Trump. In a special edition of Straight Talk this week, I sat down with Herrera Butler and three of her challengers. That includes Republicans Joe Kent, who's been endorsed by President Trump, and conservative Heidi St. John. Democrat Marie Glusenkamp Perez also joined me. It's a special hour-long edition of Straight Talk this week. You can watch it tomorrow night at 7 o'clock and Saturday at 6.30 p.m. We'll also have the full episode on the KGW YouTube channel. Really looking forward to that one.